Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing off the Android 6.0 Marshmallow update on your Moto X Pure Edition. And right away, you'll notice what they are calling their new stitched boot animation. Pretty neat. I, I like the emphasis on the boot animation. kind of gives it a more personal feel to the device. Now that our phone's booted up, let's go ahead and talk about the lock screen. What's new? We still have that camera shortcut. However, you now have a quick voice search option instead of that dialer that used to be there. I just want to go ahead and show you guys, I am on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Go ahead and go to settings, about phone. There it is, Android 6.0. To get to that Easter egg, you quickly tap on it, and then you can actually press and hold on this, and it takes us to the Android Flappy Bird. What's new is you can actually add players. So you can have two guys going at once if two of you want to actually attempt to do it. Let's see if I can actually get past one, and I did. It actually feels a little bit easier than Lollipop now that I've actually tried it on Marshmallow. Now, not necessarily Marshmallow specific, but the Google Now Launcher, you have vertical scrolling now. You also have app suggestions up the top. To turn those off, press and hold, go to settings, and you'll see app suggestions. You can just switch those off. Now, what's new with Marshmallow is Now on Tap. So Google Now on Tap reads your display and gives you search results. So if I press and hold that home button, you'll see it'll go ahead and do that nice animation. And that text message read, let's do dinner on Friday at Chipotle. You can create a calendar event. I even said 6 p.m. So you'll see December 4th, 6 p.m., which is that Friday. And then also Chipotle comes up. So if I want to search for whatever specific one, I can open up maps real quick. You can see the menu, a street view. Really nice feature. Uh, I do forget about it sometimes, but it's really nice once I remember it's there. Now you can also turn on that system UI tuner if you'd like. Press and hold on that settings icon. You'll see it's spinning in the background. Once you let go, it's going to say, congrats, System UI Tuner has been added to settings. We can go ahead and just scroll down. And down at the bottom is that System UI Tuner. Going into it, you'll see it's fun for some, not for all. If you want to turn it off, just do the same thing. Press and hold on that settings icon. Now what you can change is quick settings right here. You can actually customize the order that they're in. There's also a tile. You can add a broadcast tile. Uh, so if you want to actually change the order, you can, let's say I want hotspot up towards the top. You just put it on top of cellular data, and it just kind of bumps the rest of them down. Going back, you can also change what's in the status bar. So let's say, for example, you do not want your Wi-Fi icon to appear up at the top. Just uncheck it. There you go. So you can have a much less cluttered status bar up at the top if you'd like. Now, there's also show embedded battery percentage, and for me, that's not really good because you can't really see it most of the time unless the battery's pretty much full, so nothing too crazy. And then demo mode, all it does is, I guess if you're trying to take screenshots, it just kind of uh, puts it in a demo mode where it'll put it full. You'll see all those icon changes and the time change as well. Volume controls have been updated a little bit, so you'll see you can change the volume with the volume rockers, and then you go down again, you got alarms only. You can also press this little arrow change your media volume and alarm volume, and then also in your quick toggles, you see do not disturb, where you can change it from alarm only, priority only, or total silence as well. Something else that has been updated is text selection. So if I quickly double tap on it, it selects the whole word. If I go to the right with the right option, it selects an entire word, and then when I go back to the left, it goes letter to letter, which is how it should be. It's just much easier to customize where you're actually trying to put your cursor. You also notice cut, copy, paste are right above the text as opposed to the top of the screen. And also, if I press this three dots, I can share, select all, or translate. So there's system-wide translations between words that you can select, as long as you have Google Translate installed. So you'll see quick is uh, rapido in Spanish. I'm sure you're wondering, yes, they still do have those Moto tweaks, including Moto Display, where it'll show your notifications uh, at a glance. And also, what's interesting is that they got rid of it out of the settings screen. So they do have a setting for home where you can change your home launcher real quick. However, the Moto setting is not in settings anymore. You have to physically go into the app, the Moto app. It's in the app drawer. And now we go to these options and actions. So you'll see approach from Moto display, attentive display, which is keep screen on while you're still looking at it. You can turn that on or off. They still have the nice chop twice for flashlight. And of course you could chop twice to turn it back off. And then of course twist for quick capture, which will open the camera application real quick and you could snap a picture. And they definitely still voice actions. Okay, Moto X, what's up? Hello, Tim. The time is 7.07 .07 p.m. Nothing much going on right now. Something else in Marshmallow, under sound and notifications and other sounds, you can turn on and off charging sounds if you don't like those. Now, going back and scrolling down to battery, when it comes to battery life with Marshmallow, it includes Doze, where if your phone's sitting idly for an extended period of time, it's going to drastically save battery life. So hopefully battery life gets better on the Moto X Pure Edition. Keep you guys updated with that on social media. But also what's nice is that it gives detailed information about how many milliamp hours each thing is using. So screen, 164. 
Android system is using 37. There's also a specific setting for memory, which is RAM usage, how much you're using, how much each app is specifically using as well. And then speaking of apps, we go into that settings, and then there's a specific option for app permissions. So if I quickly go, if I press this setting here and I go to app permissions, it's gonna let me know which permission each app is using. So let's say phone, 37 of 37 apps allowed. If I don't want a specific app to use the phone, I just kind of uncheck it. But overall, that's about it that I want to talk about on Android 6.0 Marshmallow on your Moto X Pure Edition. If you got it on yours, let me know what you think of it. If you think performance has gotten better, battery life's gotten better, uh, just drop a comment down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description and video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.